Hey guys, what's up? It's High School Mac, and today I have a really exciting custom ROM review for the Galaxy S3 on Verizon. Today's ROM is Liquid Smooth 4.2.1. That's right, 4.2. We got a f pretty much fully working beta um, by Team Liquid right here. I had just recently flashed it and have been testing it for a while today. And holy crap, this ROM flies. And as you can see, this is. Let me go to the settings. 4.2.1 and it's on the Galaxy S3 for Verizon. So let's just get right into this. Um, I really just want to go and cover some of the main things about uh, 4.2 and just talk about how fast this ROM is. Uh, I got to give big props to uh, Team Liquid on this ROM. Uh, they basically are the first ones to get it out working for the Verizon Galaxy S3. I know there are some uh, official signage mod 10.1 uh, nightly is out right now but apparently they have broken data uh, and as you can see I'm connected to 4G right now calling texting everything has been good I'll just go and show you a quick speed test and I don't usually like to do this but just to show people that the 4G is working great I just ran one recently you can see the results are pretty fabulous so no problems there with speed and so perfectly working internet uh, I have heard word that some of the only bugs have been NFC. Um, for some it's working, for some it's not. And that's actually been a problem with a lot of AOSP ROMs. Uh, I'm pretty sure a fix for that is flashing certain zips or coming from a official TouchWiz ROM to AOSP ROMs. Um, then I'm just going to kind of jump into some of the other features that I've been messing around with because this is my first experience on 4.2. And right away you're going to notice we got a new clock app. so. You can see the clock is really nice with the bold lettering here. And to the right we have a stopwatch, which is really nice. And then we also have over here a timer. So it's nice having this new clock app. Uh, I have to say it was a much needed update and I'm glad to see it. Okay, so into the next big feature and that is the uh, almost built-in swipe uh, gesture typing. So I'll just give you an example um, of how nice and fluid it is. I'm not the best at it yet, but I'll just try to get the point across. So you can get the point, hey, what's up viewers, this is gesture typing. So everything's very fluid and smooth there. And in fact, I just have to say that this is by far the fastest ROM I ever ran on this phone. And I can say this is the best Android experience I've ever had. So great job to Team Liquid there. Okay, the next feature I want to get into is the Nifty Daydream, which is part of the display settings. So if you're not sure where to find it, you just go to settings under display. And then you have Daydream. Okay, and then you can select which ones you want to use. I just have colors right now, and I'll just start it now. And you see we just got this nice little soothing color array for whenever you have your phone plugged in or docking. You can actually choose that. And all you do is touch it and it brings it back to your page. Obviously, you can do clock. And this looks really nice, too. So these are just nice little add-ons that 4.2 has over uh, 4.1.2. And obviously right here you can see you can select your own photos. Okay, so this brings me to the next big feature and that is lock screen widgets. So I'm just lock the screen, unlock it, and you see here's the uh, default one and I can just swipe left to right and I can add them. I've already added these, I don't have any messaging in there. My inbox, you can see I can scroll, everything's really fast. Go add a new one, it gives me to select from these options depending on different apps you have installed. So now I'm back in the home screen. Uh, let me just go back. Okay, so this is going to lead me to the next feature, which is camera. So I'm just going to swipe over. And it's going to jump right into camera. Okay, so you can see we're in camera now. And you can see right away that we got this autofocus feature coming up. And it just keeps going. And so that's me snap pictures off. The next feature I want to cover. So. As that's going, I can go up anywhere and just hold. I have all the settings through here. And I can adjust all of these. And it's a really nice feature that I can just tap anywhere and do this. And I like the way that Google's implemented this. 
uh, type of touch interface and I'd like to see it in future updates. Uh, that's one of the other big things of camera. And obviously Photosphere is another huge part of the newest camera but we won't be seeing that in this build right now because as of now Photosphere is only on the Nexus devices so I'm sure you'll see some type of mod in the future that lets us use it on other devices but until now this is what we have. So that's camera and it's a really big feature of 4.2. And this is going to kind of lead me to the last little minor tweaking that I've seen. And that is uh, obviously a more expanded notifications. I don't really have any up right now. But it's just a little easier to expand and interact with your notifications. And then obviously we got the quick toggles. And this has been really popular in custom ROMs. And we finally see uh, stock Android bringing it. So right now I've just added a couple more through liquid settings. And you can see just normal toggles. You tap them to turn it on, tap to turn off. So I just can go right into settings like here. And there's also a couple more tweaks you can do in Liquid Smooth. Obviously, as we see these ROMs get more stable, we will see more features brought in. And I'm really, really excited to see the future development of this phone. Thanks, Team Liquid, for this awesome ROM. Uh, everything is running good for me. I know there are a few couple bugs that people have pointed out, such as tethering not necessarily working on NFC. And I understand that is obviously acceptable for a beta build. And I'm sure we'll see future development for this ROM in the near future. Other than that though, everything is working perfect. It is by far the best 4.2 ROM out there for the Verizon Galaxy S3. If you are a Verizon Galaxy S3 user, you really must just flash this ROM to see how nice 4.2 is on this phone. Uh, it's definitely a substitute in place of not having the Nexus 4. It's definitely super fast. Thanks for watching guys. If you like this video, please like. If you have any questions, comment below. And if you like any of our content we post, please subscribe. See you later, guys.